you decide to let Ernie Kent go, um, what kind of went into that decision making process for you? Uh, number one, it was the experience our student athletes were having. Um, you know, we, we've we've been on, and this this predates Ernie. We've been on a downward slide uh, of our men's basketball program for about a decade. So um, it's a uh, our student athletes wanted a different type of experience. It's a really quality quality group of young men. Um, it, it just, it, you know, Ernie, I believe Ernie Kent's a good coach, just probably wasn't the right coach for Washington State. So when you put all the things together, we're at, and there's a financial component to it. Um, men's basketball is a revenue driver for, for uh, this athletic program and the Pac-12. Uh, so our performance, where it was headed, just necessitated a change. Those are never easy, uh, but at the end of the day, we felt like it was the right thing to do at the time. Were you able to get donors to help pay for his contract, or, or how how did that all come about? Because I know no, we'll budget it. And I've been we've talked about it. There's there's a cost of action and there's a cost of inaction. And and just just look at our attendance. Um, you know, we'll do we'll do less than three hundred thousand dollars in gate receipts this year. In the peak of the Tony Bennett days, we we're doing over a million dollars in gate receipts. So just not, so there are there are other levers that need to be pulled. Uh, but at the end of the day, I mean, finance when you when you bundle everything up, the finances were uh, uh, one of the reasons why we we were forced to make a change. What led you to Kyle Smith in your search? Extraordinary interview, uh, really knocked our socks off. But but he he's he fits what we believe is the DNA of a Coug. He's a, a phenomenal human being. Uh, he's got a work ethic and, and kind of a chip on his shoulder. Uh, he has a belief system and, uh, and and a style of basketball that that uh, that he knows he can recruit and, and coach to. Uh, his wife is from Chelan, Washington, uh, one of the great uh, high school basketball uh, players in the history of our state. So he just fits us really well, and and we're excited about the next steps of our program. What have you thought of the job he's done so far? Uh, fantastic. I mean, it's it's college basketball is is a is a broken sport. Uh, I think there'll be over, there's 351 schools, over a thousand kids will, will put themselves in the transfer portal this year. So it is, it's, you kind of live year to year. I've uh, been really impressed what he's been able to do in terms of recruiting in a short period of time. Uh, but it's, it's a build. I mean, we, you know, the term I like to use with all of our new coaches, it's, it's year zero. Uh, because we got to we got to make sure the culture is right within our, within all of our programs, um, and that and making sure we're recruiting the right student athletes that uh, can can thrive academically, socially, and athletically in our campus. But uh, to date, he's done a great job. But like all of our coaches, that's kind of the expectation. Very excited yeah. to see what he does down there on the Palouse. We'll be wrapping up our segments with Chun tonight at six as him and I discuss all the things he's learned in his first full academic year on the job. He's been a busy guy. Yes, <laughs> definitely. Sure. Uh, if four coaches he's had to replace yeah. so far, or three of the three of the four main sport coaches he's had to replace so far. So. Sure. All right, Brenda, thank you very much.